here we are in, in 2013, and uh, there are still roughly one million myocardial infarctions that happen per year uh, just in the United States alone. And uh, of those one million infarctions, we currently cannot predict a single of one of them before they happen. And so this remains a, a very significant public health problem that, that people continue to uh, have sudden onset of myocardial infarction. And if you're lucky uh, and you have a myocardial infarction, you make it to the hospital and we can treat you. Uh, if you're unlucky, uh, unfortunately, you die before you get here. And so uh, we very much want to develop the scientific methods to be able to predict a myocardial infarction before it happens. And that's uh, the background that really led to our STEMI study. What we found was that um, in 19 of the first 20 patients that we did with STEMI, uh, and 19 of those culprit lesions actually had lipid core plaque present. And in 17 of the 20, uh, a very large lipid core plaque was present where the lipid core wrapped almost uh, circumferentially around the vessel at the culprit site. So based on our findings, we were able to come up with a signal, a near-infrared signal uh, or signature of the culprit lesions that actually uh, we think cause STEMI. Why this, this finding is important is because uh, unlike the, the thrombus that occurs at the time of the event, uh, we suspect that the lipid core may actually be in the artery well before the infarction happens. And so if the lipid is in fact there well before the event, then the lipid core is something that can be detected before the event occurs and may be able to be used to predict the event before it happens.